Yeah, hello everyone. I'm the solo member of Black Pure. So I'm a Chinese, so my English is not good here. So if uh, if my presentation is not good, so uh, carefully. Uh, so my name is Zhou Yang, and I'm I'm very pleased to participate in the, the this competition. And uh, luckily, you have to get the first place. And next, I will introduce my solution for this com competition. Uh, today's competition will be divided into four parts. Okay, so I'm Chinese and we're currently working as a large language models algorithm engineer at uh, Chinese company Meituan. Yeah, so about me, I'm passionate about uh, algorithm complications and engaged in research and impl implementations of large language models related project. Yeah, so next uh, I will get straight to the point and introduce my solution here. Uh, yeah, so this competition test is to judge whether there is a good or bad response, or if there are the same given prompt and re the response from two large language models. So I believe its main difficulties are as follows. First, uh, the data stands are inconsistent and difficult. So people have different uh, performance for response, such as I'm Chinese and you are American. We are, have a different opinion about the food and other things. Yeah. Uh, and the third is that uh, even with the largest parameter models model, uh, the twin state north can only reach uh, uh, 0 0.7, uh, 7, yeah. So, but there, but the main idea is uh, the natural model, the better uh, performance, yeah. So here, yeah, this is my solution. The core idea is uh, distillation, yeah. I divided the two large, large models with uh, over 17 billion parameters uh, and down to gamma with uh, live billion parameters. I first use the, the UT data. Yeah, it's uh, an open, open academic data and uh, labeled from GPT-4 to find you and the and lemma three. Uh, also, also, also the GMA model uh, with, uh, with a three class uh, classification. Which I call post between. Yeah, it's uh, the tra traditional trick uh, when 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 I do some computations here. Uh, just just like uh, one map, I think. Then I divided uh, the data into twin and the validation sets, and uh, dis distilling the logics uh, from the two seven seventeen billion model to the lie billion model. Uh, so the entire process is quite uh, straightforward. Okay, and uh, here is my best model. Actually, uh, okay, we use auto model for second classification as the best model. For the small model, we choose LoRa, and for the larger model, we choose QLoRa. Yeah, because why we choose LoRa? Because we should uh, merge the LoRa. Uh, to get the faster infer inference when we sub when we s s submit, okay. Uh, and uh, about uh, the high parameter settings, uh, as show the screen, I use rank and alpha. Yeah, all open here, and uh, twin approach are set to two and the global. Batch size set uh, to uh, sixteen four. Yeah, I use eighteen A one hundred GPU. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, next I will introduce the details of our process. Uh, firstly, we should get the logistics distribution. Uh, and first. We load the weights from the post between uh, process, and uh, the data set is split, split into five folds for twin 
processors. And, the, and we use uh, we use the uh, twin data and uh, additionally 16, 16 uh, data for training and others for validation. With this speed, we then train the NAMA 70 billion and the chain one 72 billion models. After training, we infer the probability distribution of the train set for those train models. Okay. And uh, second, secondly, uh, I distill the to the nine billion models with the two logics. Yeah, once we have obtained the logistics distribution, we load the nine billion models for fine tune. During the fine tune process, we incorporate the distilling loss, uh, which involved five loss uh, calculations, calculations for training. We set a learning rate uh, to, uh, yeah, here. And uh, this uh, comprehensive method ensures if you effective distributions by leveraging the strong performance of large models and uh, transforming that knowledge to a small and more efficient models. Okay, and finally, this is our, uh, the detail of our uh, model, of detail of our, our my submission. Uh, for a model example, uh, I directly arrange the lower layers of five floors. Okay, and then I get the eight bit model and I quantize the model to eight bit use GPTQ and uh, apply the TTA. Yeah, it's a time test argument uh, just as replace the first, uh, prompt, first response and the second response with a length of to two thousands during submission. Uh, and here are um, my meaning experimental results. Uh, as you can see, by using multi-level distillations, the loss has sig significantly decreased. For the final sub sublimation, we utilize the five-fold cross-section and directly arranging in the lower layers. After Quantizing the model to uh to eight bits, we submit it on a cargo. Uh, this is my final submission. Yeah. So okay. And the last, I will I will share some important findings. So for me, uh, first need, uh, I think the natural model and the better the uh, performance. And secondly, distill the multiple large language models into a small models can be more efficient than use a single large model and uh, there is no significant difference in performance between LoRa, QLoRa and uh, four parameters Fanturin. yeah and GMA2 is the best small models in current uh, competition possibly doing to pre-training with similar data as uh, it's showing in the paper, I think the papers, and the tie category in this test, in this this test uh, is the most uh, bad you bad you okay, uh, with very low accuracy, uh, it is uh, recommended to discard this uh, uh, category. I think uh, when we do some research, okay, all right, so that's all for me. Thank you.